The most common treatment for infertility is a medicine called Clomid or Clomiphene citrate. And that's used for women that are anovulatory, that aren't making eggs, that aren't ovulating regularly. Uh, it obviously won't work if the man's sperm is a problem. So we're assuming now that there isn't a male factor and that the problem is, the only problem with the couple is that the woman um, isn't making eggs, isn't ovulating each month. And so the way the treatment works is that usually we have, women that are not ovulating usually aren't having regular periods. So we usually need to start a period and we use progesterone for 10 days to get a period started. Now once the period starts, it's very important that we're all on the same page about how we're defining cycle days. And so the very first day of bleeding is considered cycle day one and everything is timed after that. So what I recommend to my patients is on the first day of bleeding on the calendar, they mark a one and then they fill the rest of that month in, two, three, four, five, six, seven, et cetera, because everything is going to be timed based on that. So the Clomid is generally given for five days, usually days, cycle days five through nine, although it can be started on cycle day three, but five through nine is sort of the classic approach. If the Clomid is given on cycles day five through nine, you expect ovulation to happen somewhere between days 14 to 16. And so after the Clomid is done, a woman wants to have to intercourse about every other day. It turns out that intercourse every other day is really the ideal frequency for conception. Intercourse more frequently than that can dilute the sperm down and so each ejaculate has less sperm. Intercourse less frequently than that has a chance of missing the ovulation. And so generally we recommend every other day intercourse. But honestly, you know, if the mood strikes you and you do it more often, that's not a problem. If you miss a day, that's not the end of the world. But generally for about 10 days, seven to 10 days, you wanna have sex about every other day um, during the time when you expect to ovulate. Then generally on cycle day 21, we'll check a serum progesterone, which is a blood test, and that will tell us Number one, whether you ovulated that month, and number two, whether it was a, a good egg or a not so good egg. And the higher the number, the higher quality of the egg that was ovulated. And so that 21 day progesterone um, gives uh, very important information. And I'll usually have patients come back after that. We'll go over the cycle, make sure things were done correctly, check that 21 day progesterone, and do a pregnancy test, and hopefully uh, the patient is pregnant at that time. The usual starting dose for Clomid is 50 milligrams, which is how it's packaged as one pill. Um, if a woman fails to ovulate at the 50 milligram dose, it can be doubled to 100 milligrams, and it can even be tripled to 150. Going beyond 150 doesn't make a whole lot of sense because even though it can make ovulation happen, it can make um, implantation of the egg more difficult in the second half of the cycle. So we usually don't push the dose much higher than that. In my personal uh, opinion, if a woman is not ovulatory at 100 milligrams, then I usually start a second, a second medicine called glucophage or metformin, which is really a diabetes medicine, but it can help uh, quite a bit. And so in women that don't ovulate with the Clomid, about 80% of those will ovulate if you add the glucophage. And that needs to be a pretty hefty dose, about 1,500 milligrams a day, uh, usually divided up 500 milligrams three times a day. You can't start on that dose because it would give you diarrhea and make, give, really give you an upset stomach. So you have to sort of work that dose up. Um, but once you get up to the dose that we need, then we start cycles again with Clomid and usually people will ovulate at that point. So for a Clomid cycle, it's Clomid five days, cycles day five through nine, timed intercourse for seven to 10 days after that, a progesterone on day uh, 21, and then a visit after that to go over the cycle and hope that pregnancy occurs. Now it often takes several cycles even once we get somebody ovulatory before they actually get pregnant um, because not every ovulatory cycle will result in a pregnancy. So you have to be a little bit patient with this. Medtwice.com